Hey guys, it's Demi here or at Frustrated Talent on Instagram. So today we're going to do a tutorial on the simple halter top. So before starting, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get to it. Honestly, I'm a bit nervous because this is the first uh, tutorial that I am releasing. But basically uh, for this, we're going to start by going through the bottom. And then we're going to make our way to the top and then we're going to end by doing the straps. Just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be teaching the basic stitches here. So there are a lot of YouTube videos that may help you on that. So just watch it side by side when doing this video. So let's get started. So the materials that I use for this project are 5 ply milk cotton yarn. Stitch markers, tape measure, my tulip hook that's 5mm or size 8, and a pair of scissors. So total yarn that I used for this is around 120 to 130 grams. So first, we'll create a slip knot. This is personally how I do mine. So we'll begin with making our foundation single crochet stitch. I really love starting with this stitch because it makes it more elastic on the bottom. So it'll be able to hug your body more. So we'll start by making two chains. After, insert your hook on the first chain. Okay, then pull through one. Then you'll have two loops in your hook. Then pull through the first one only. The chain I'm pointing to, that's where you're gonna insert your hook for the second stitch. So after pulling through both, uh, insert your hook on that chain I pointed to a while ago. Pull through one, then pull through both. So you're just gonna repeat this process until you can uh, wrap the yarn around your chest area. So I'll show you a picture right now. So make sure that you'll be able to wear it on and put it out of your body. So make sure there's a bit of an allowance or if you're using milk cotton, it should be able to stretch enough for you to wear it and take it off comfortably. I encourage with this project that you do try your top on from time to time so that you can really perfect it to your body. Personally, I made 82 chains for my size and my chest circumference is 34 inches. So if you're at your desired length already, I'll meet you for the next step. After creating 82 foundation single crochet chain, we will now connect the first and the last stitch together to make that circle. Make sure your chain isn't twisted also. On top of the first foundation chain you made, insert your hook and we will be creating a slip stitch. Next, chain one. And we're actually going to turn to create the next few half double crochets. But what I like to do is insert my hook on the chain on top just so I can pull the thread of the tail in. And therefore, I'll be weaving it in now instead of later on in the project. Okay, so now we're gonna turn our work, then we're gonna begin our half double crochets. So we're gonna put it on this stitch first. So to make a half double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, then go through the chain, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so I'll repeat it. Yarn over, go through the chain, then yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the chain. So we're going to continue doing this all around. Then when you're at the end, I'll meet you there. So now that we're at the end, you can see that I do have two chains left. I'm going to half double on the second to the last, but I'm not going to double crochet on this last one because that's where our chain one is. And I consider that as our stitch already. So in total for that first row, I did make 81 half double crochets. So again, we're going to chain one, then turn, then we're going to continue on. But now, on that same chain where your chain one is, you're going to start your half double crochet there. So each row from now on will have 81 half double crochets in total. 
So we'll just continue this and then I'll meet you again at the end to show you where your last stitch should be. So we're at the end of row 2 so you can see last 2 chains but you'll see that the last chain has my first double crochet of the row. So I'm only going to do a double crochet on the second to the last and slip stitch on top of the first double crochet that we did at the start. So we're going to continue this pattern of doing 81 half double crochets for me until I reach 15 rows or until the top measures 5 inches. So if you want it longer, you can adjust depending on your preference and depending of course also with the type of yarn that you're using. But for me specifically, it's until my top reaches 5 inches. So we're done with our 15 rows of half double crochet or approximately 5 inches in measurement. Uh, this is the amount of yarn that I have left of my first roll of 50 grams. So the top is kind of above my belly button area. So if you prefer it below or covering the belly button area, you can extend and make it longer, maybe around 6 or 7 inches. So it's up to your preference. This is where we start decreasing to make that halter top shape. But since we're gonna chain and turn, I want you to go to the opposite side first. Uh, measure another 5 inches in between your chain 1 now to where your last stitch is supposed to be. And put a stitch marker on. So as you can see, where my tape measure ends, that's where we're gonna put the marker. It started raining, so there's a bit of a light change, but okay, we're gonna chain one in turn as mentioned, and this is where we're gonna start decreasing. We will be doing a half double crochet together, so yarn over and go through the chain, yarn over and go through two loops only, then yarn over, go through the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and go through all four. So that's how we do a half double crochet together, or that's how I personally do it. Then after, just do normal half double crochet around, and then I'll meet you at the end of the round or before the stitch marker. So for our last two stitches, we're also going to do the same. We're going to do a half double crochet together just to do the initial decrease. Okay, then after, chain one and turn. Okay, so when we're starting the row, we won't decrease it. So we're just going to do a half double crochet on top of it. Then if you want, you can put a stitch marker on top of that so you have a reference on which one was your first stitch. Then after, we're just going to half double crochet again around. Then I'll meet you before we do our last two stitches of the row. Okay, since we're at the end of the row, again, we're going to do a half double crochet together just to do the decrease for the halter top. So again, only on the first row do we do half double crochet at the start and end. But after that, second row onwards, we'll be doing a pattern of starting the row with a normal half double crochet, but ending it with a half double crochet together. So for this pattern of decrease, we'll make total of 10 rows. So since we already did 2, continue on to do 8 more. But if you are customizing the size of your top, uh, you can try to wear it and make sure that the ends are mid or bit. Then after, we'll do a new pattern for decrease. So I'll meet you after you finish your 10 rows or when you're done with reaching the mid armpit area for customized measurements. So after your 10 rows, it should look like this, kind of like a bowl shape. So we did 10 rows of that in total again. Make sure that you do 
fit your top and that it fits well so that if ever you need to adjust something you're not at the end of your project yet so you don't have to unravel so much so now we're gonna double time our decrease so a while ago we started the row with a half double crochet and ended it with a half double crochet together now we're gonna start and end our rows with our half double crochet together similarly to what we did on the first round of decrease so this will create a nicer pattern for your halter top making that nice uh, slanted shape for it so continue doing this pattern or the double time decrease until you have 25 half double crochets left or around 7 inches. So again, this is customizable. You can keep wearing it or you can measure it on yourself also. But for me, I prefer the 7 inches length or the 25 half double crochets left. So here's our finished body of halter top. So we have the straps basically left. So let me just show you, uh, we have around approximately 7 inches for the neck area. Then the length of our top in total is approximately around 12, if you copied my uh, measurements. But again, it is customizable, so if you want it longer, feel free to do so. Okay, let's finish the top with the straps. So go to the back of your top. Then when we where we started decreasing or where it is angled, that's where you're gonna put the stitch markers because we're going to be attaching the straps there later. For the straps, basically, we're just gonna do chain 50 or again, customize it to the length that you want. So now we're gonna attach the strap. Uh, the other end of the top so we're gonna get the stitch marker insert our hook inside the chain then we're gonna make a slip stitch after we're gonna slip stitch across the chain all the way going back to the front of the top so as you see, we're just inserting our hook on the top strand or the top yarn part of the chain and continuing with the slip stitch after. So slip stitch across the whole strap, then I'll meet you when we're back at the start or on the 50th chain already. So now we're gonna do the edging. We'll do a single crochet going down there's no exact placement of where you should insert your hook, but just make sure that the amount of single crochets you do will equal to the number of rows that you made. So continue doing your single crochet down, then I'll meet you when we're doing the single crochet that hits the strap of this left side. Okay, so we've made it across, then now we'll be doing the single crochet across the back side. So this one will be easier because you're just going to do a single crochet on top of each half double crochet. So when doing the single crochet on where the strap is attached to, make sure that the strap is inside the single crochet. So as you can see, our hook will be behind the strap while doing the single crochet. So this will just ensure that the strap is inside the top and it will just look aesthetically nicer. Just continue doing your single crochet across the top and also continue to do the single crochet towards the right side of the top. So I'll meet you when we're going to start the chain 50 already. Okay, so before starting your chain 50, on top of the first half double crochet, we're gonna make a slip stitch. Then after, continue on with 50 chains, then I'll meet you when we're going to connect the strap to the back. So to finish it off, we're going to connect the strap to the back part of the top. We're going to insert our hook here where we first placed our marker to earlier. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain. So similarly to the other side, it will stay hidden as well. So continue on after 
to slip stitch all across on the strap then I'll meet you when you're at the top already. So at the top, we're going to slip stitch on the second half double crochet or the chain right beside where we did our strap chain. Then you're going to chain one and cut out the thread. Then after, just weave in the ends and we're done with our simple halter top. So here's the finished product. So basically, it's just a very simple halter top, but it's perfect because it's very classic. So as I was saying a while ago, for the straps, you can see here that it's hidden. So just aesthetically, it just looks a little bit more neat. Okay, then I'll show you how it looks like when it's inside out. So this is our wrong side. You can see the straps are kind of like outside. So. For me, being a bit of an OC person, I just preferred it looking a bit more neat. So that's it for our simple halter top. I hope you guys enjoy making it. Please tag me if you do decide to make it so I can see all of your projects as well. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you have questions. I'll try my best to answer all of them. Thank you!